So in this video, I'll be showing you the Mavic Air. Not the Mavic Air, no, the Air 3. The Mavic Air, the very first Mavic, I believe, that come out. No doubt somebody's going to tell me I'm wrong, but who cares? <laughs> but yeah, the Mavic Air. I'll tell you what, I bought this um, about beginning of this year, thinking about it. Uh, and I'm amazed at this drone. I mean, for such an old drone, it's got so many good features on it. Now, one of the things I've got to emphasize, guys, and I think I've, I've done it, is you forget, is that these legs at the front here, you've got to put them down. You can fly them up, but don't forget these are the aerial. This is for your signal. Don't forget this is a Wi-Fi based drone. You've got to have these down, or you're not going to get your distance. I think a lot of people was complaining when this first came out that um, it wasn't flying very far, and that's because these legs weren't pulled out. So just bear that in mind. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do today is show you flying this drone, not on the DJI Go 4 app, I think that's right. Um, I'll be showing you how to fly this drone in the Mavin app. And I just want to show you one of the uh, many modes that you can on the Mavin app, and that's the Waypoint Mission. Now, I'll put that there or there, um, and that's how I've done it. I've done a whole series on the Mavin app because you do need to understand, even if you're using the Litchi app, you do need to understand all the things around the screen. So there's no point in just getting the Mavin app, paying all that money and not knowing how to use it. So please check out my series on the Mavin app. And I've done one, I've done a few on the waypoints. So yeah, check that out first. But I'm just going to show you, you, you can fly your Mavic Air on the Mavin app. So, should we get on with it? Not forgetting the control. Oh yeah, before I even do it, I've got to do a shout out. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I've writ, written his name down. He's called Grandad. I put it above me, Ed. I think it's Grandad Lulu. I might be wrong. <laughs> or Mi Yang. Something like that. Mi Yang. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't bring out a piece of paperwork. As always, I try and get everything planned, but he, he, he just forget certain things. So a shout out to you because you come all the way from the Philippines. You've just retired. You got your Mavic Air and you want to know how to fly it. So I've done a few videos already on the uh, Mavic Air. I, I, I mean, I'm loving this drone. I will be doing more videos on this drone. Um, obviously at the moment here in Spain, the temperatures at the moment in the shade, it's well over 30s. It's probably not going up to 34 at the moment. Um, obviously you've got to be so careful the batteries but anyway I'll talk you through some of it like I said before you need to watch my waypoint mission um, tutorial on how you do that but I'm just going to show you that it can be flown with this drone so obviously one of the other things is remove the uh, gimbal cover and lens cover we get the drone on and we get it going So I've already gone into the Mavin app. As you can see already, you can see a picture of the uh, Mavic Air. <laughs> um, it's, I'm not too sure about the channel thing, but I think in looking at that, that's a good signal. Okay, so I tap to start. Compass needed to be calibrated. Okay, so compass error. What do you got to do? You come out of this, you go into the DJI Go 4 app. Okay. Okay. Ignore that. Right. You do it through your Go 4 app for the calibration, okay? So, you don't do it through the, the Mavin app. So, here we go. I'm just going around. It's pretty self explanatory. Turn it downwards, 360. <laughs> okay. Okay, it says it's, I've got to recalibrate it, okay. <sighs> Let's 
nice and slow. Maybe that's what I did, I did it too fast. Okay, turn it down. Okay. Right, so, we're ready. <laughs> and I'm a bit dizzy. Not used to doing that. Ah. Okay, so, as always, these things come to try us. You've got to, you have to calibrate it because if you don't calibrate it, it just won't take off, guys. So what do you do? You come out of the Go4 app. You go into the Mavin app, tap to start. Like I said, watch the tutorial videos on this. So I'm going to put on the video. You go for the three dots, the waypoint. Right. I'm at the Bonnie Mine today. This is the waypoint mission. I've got my video on. I'm ready to upload. Okay, mission upload incorrectly. Okay, so the mission is loaded. Yes to fly. The drone's gonna do it all. It's gonna take off. It's already set it up. Now, I can see it's on the screen here. I'm going to show you what's uh, actually going on with the Maven app as well. So what it's doing now, it's looking at its first point of interest. Now you can see at the moment it's a bit congested over sort of the left part of it. And you're just about to see the drone appearing now. What's good about these apps, and I'm not, I'm also on about the Litchi app. Some guys might have the Litchi app. You can try it on the Litchi app as well. Um, you can see what's going on there. It's flying out. Now I can make that picture bigger on the screen. So the drone's not even caught of the way yet. It's in, I would be interested to compare the I did this on the Mini 2. Now the Mini 2 is a lot is what I call a little slightly smaller drone. Um uh, I did notice it, it did jerk around a little bit, but then it could be oh, I've just seen a little jerk there. Um and that could be because that was its first waypoint. Okay, we're coming up to that chimney. Am I gonna hit the chimney? <laughs> I shouldn't do coming near it coming near it yeah Pfft. got a couple of flies around today well I what I can do I can move that gimbal down a little bit so you can see what's going on there nice shot there that's something you've got control with the gimbal as well this is looking good it's a lovely day but I mean it could be it could be the video transmission to the drone um, that's the other thing so what I will do it at the end of this flight, I will put up the video of it and we can have a look at the video. And then what I always do it at the end is just do my thoughts on the uh, Mavic Air. I do, but I do love this drone. I mean, it's an amazing drone. So it's just coming around, just make that slightly smaller now, not too small. You can see now it's just coming back around and I'll just drop that gimbal down a little bit more. So it's just coming back to me now. Okay. I mean, it's a lovely blue sky. Like I said, the temperature is the day in the shade. And that's why I'm sat in the shade at the moment. It's um, 33. It's just coming in now. I uh, can't see it. I can hear it. I can see it. Sorry. <laughs> Here he is. He's right above me head. Yeah, he's right above me head. Because what, what's happened now, it's finished its mission and it's coming back to me. Here he comes. So what I'll do, I'll just turn off the video. 
we'll just bring that in now he's coming in he's coming in we got about 183 feet he's just he's just sorting itself out now that pool that you can see there usually is usually bright red but as we have no rain lately he's just coming in just coming in now 83 73 and I think that's gonna be pretty smack on that yeah yeah he's coming in for a land yeah I think that's pretty good now I don't even have to press the X hopefully not I think it's off about not even a foot right so that's that i'll come out of the mission come out of that drones landed what i'll do now is i'll turn it all off and then we'll have a quick chat So my final thoughts on the Mavic Air with the Mavin app. I thought it was pretty good. Obviously, I had a little bit of a problem at the beginning, and that's about the calibrating it. That's 
when you always got to do updates and things like calibration and I old age thing for me I forgot about that you've got to do it for your DJI Go 4 app uh, and it went straight through it didn't do it straight away so you just got to keep going because it won't let you fly which is good which is good so that that was good and then you just come out of DJI Go 4 app go straight into the Mavin app and you saw it all there now it did look a little bit jittery but that could be the video transmission don't think this is a wi-fi based drone and it's an old drone as well so can't expect everything to be perfect but i think it looked pretty good as always guys hope you enjoyed the video i will be doing some more the mavic air and my good old friend there in the philippines he's a top man for watching and supporting me enjoy your drone that's the main thing anyway if you enjoyed it get a thumbs up if you didn't get a thumbs down and as always just enjoy flying your drone guys and i'll catch you on another video